Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I feel like I haven't been here in a while. I had a bit of a cold and lost my voice, so I'm here with my hot tea and I can hope that you can hear me. I'm using this little uh, microphone, so let me know in the comments if the sound is any better since I'm using this. And speaking of beverages, I just posted a recipe that I really like um, making. It's a pina colada, and you can make it either virgin or with alcohol, but I make it from scratch, um, and I show you guys how to do that. So you can check it out on my uh, Instagram, Matiana Skills. Anyway, so today I wanna to talk to you guys about uh, one of the topics that comes in, comes up in rotational dating a lot, and you know that I teach this uh, subject, and I have courses where I talk about it, and. I do talk about it in my YouTube videos, but what I've been starting to notice is that a lot of women really rush into the process of rushing to the altar and getting married really fast without really taking the time to get to know the person better. And for people who are new watching this video, when we talk about rotational dating, we are talking about kind of evolutionary way that women always used to date, which is having multiple men pursue them and going out with multiple uh, multiple people. But when I say that, I don't mean that there's anything physical going on, there's, there's no intimacy with all of these men that is happening, physical intimacy. So you're just getting to know people better, basically being courted by several different men, which makes up your rotation. And then uh, usually it happens for when you when women use rotational dating and do rotational dating, it happens for the purposes of getting married, right? So when a woman wants to get married, this is what uh, what is very beneficial to do. Now, talking about this process, usually it happens pretty fast. So whenever you have your rotation and you have someone that is very interested in you and eventually that person is going to propose and if you say yes then there is for certain for some women and i would say for majority the time between that between literally meeting this person and getting engaged and getting married could be very short all the way this this was taught and some people still teach it this way is to kind of go for it and just blindly trust that things are gonna work out. And even if there are some red flags, kind of think about it in terms of, okay, we're gonna work it out. But what I see now in the modern days um, is that it doesn't quite work out like that. And maybe for people who get married or got married like 15, 20 years ago, and they did it within their own culture. And even now, like I have clients who were successful doing that, but I would say that people who went from getting to know the person, getting engaged and married very, very fast, those are far in between where, when it is successful and it's a successful marriage. I have a client uh, which she's an amazing woman and she's just done such an amazing job and progress with her inner work and her inner development. And she unfortunately uh, did rotational dating and she got engaged to a guy and they got married very fast. There were some red flags that were present even before they got married. And unfortunately, she even though i cautioned her because uh, for me those were pretty big red flags so there was some alcohol abuse and then uh, whenever he was drinking there was some verbal abuse that was happening and uh, but she decided to go for it still and they got married and unfortunately as they got married and they got closer the situation unraveled in a negative way and just whatever red flags were there, they just became much, much more prevalent. And that situation didn't work out. Now, why do women sometimes get in these situations of really rushing the process is because, you know, sometimes there is uh, there are kids, right? So a woman wants to have 
a family, start a family, have kids, and she's literally on the time crunch to make that happen. So she's really rushing into a relationship or whenever she meets a guy that is willing to propose and give her what she thinks she wants, she just kind of goes for it, right? And then the another option is when a woman is putting up with certain red flags, even in the dating stage, even in the engagement stage, because she thinks that a guy who is maybe not a hundred percent for her, like there are some things that are not perfect, but she's putting up with that because she thinks that the guy who is not a highest value guy would be a safer option. That the guy who is not a hundred percent high value man would be a safer option for her because he would treat her as if she was, you know, God's gift to the planet, right? So, and a lot of times this really doesn't work out because a lot of times when a man, it doesn't have that security, inner security and confidence in himself, there's a lot of insecurity going on, right? And that comes up later in the relationship as well. So, but this is a topic for another video. Um, I just see it in women quite a bit settling for men that are not really the best fit for them, settling for somebody thinking that this is a safer option rather than going for somebody that they really want. So I see that a lot too. But coming back to this um, this client and coming back to just how this situation uh, unfolded is unfortunately when the meeting takes place and then the engagement takes place and then the marriage takes place very fast it is just it is physically impossible to get to know a person on a certain level and also keeping in mind that of course when you when anyone right? All of us, we all do that. Let's just be honest. Whenever we meet someone and we really like that person, we're putting our best foot forward. We are trying our best to impress that person, to conceal any of the bad things that we may have, like any of the things that we know that the other person may not like, right? So we do that. Everybody that men do that, women do that. And knowing that, that the person, excuse me, <clears throat> the person that you are dating could be concealing a lot of those things. So you have to be mindful of that. And the best thing to do is give it some time. And a lot of women ask me, especially if their, their belief and they want to, uh, they don't want to be, let, let's say if they get engaged, but they don't want to get physical with a man uh, they don't want to um, have sex with a guy unless they're married to him. So what to do in that case? Well, there, I can't really discuss it too much here on YouTube. little side note here, I actually forgot to mention it in the video. I have a brand new masterclass and it's an advanced level masterclass. So this is for people, for women who are about to get engaged or they are already engaged. So this is for women who already been following my work and they already have all these foundational pieces in place. And with the a new masterclass, it's advanced level, okay? So we're gonna dive really deep into, okay, what do you need to do and what do you need to know before you actually tie a knot with this person, right? Because once you actually there and you are getting married, it's a legal contract. And we want to make sure that the marriage is going to be long-term and happy and is not gonna end up in divorce, right? So there are certain things that you need to know and certain steps that you need to take. I'm talking about that in my new, masterclass yeah, check it out i on the sales copy actually talk a little bit more about what's in it so feel free to check it out it is now on pre-sale before it becomes live okay so now back to the video if a woman is in the position that she's only going to be intimate with a guy when they're married there is this race that happens after the engagement to the marriage because because both a, guy, a man and a woman, they kind of want to get there and they're setting the date literally a month or two months down the road. And think about it like this, when you are getting married, there, there are 
emotional, there's emotional infatuation component to it, right? So yes, absolutely. But also when you are getting married, it is a legal contract. So it is something that is legal in the eyes of the law and in the eyes of church, whatever your belief system is, right? But it is definitely legal. It's a legal contract in the eyes of the law. So if you are jumping into something like that very fast, it is not going to be to your benefit if this marriage, let's say, doesn't work out. Why? Because for women, the most valuable thing that we have is time, right? Especially if you want to have kids, but even if you don't, like your time is very important and very expensive. So it doesn't even matter. Like some people say, okay, like what if I don't really have any, any assets? I don't have much money, like, and I'm getting married. Like women are not worried about something being taken away from them. And if you are, if you're someone who is in business or you, you know, you a little bit older, maybe you, you have some assets, you know, then that's a whole different story, right? Because you have to also think about, you know, that and the division of assets if God forbid this marriage doesn't work out, right? But again, this is a subject for a different video. And you guys let me know in the comments if you want me to talk about it a little bit more. But let's say, I think for everyone, so it doesn't even matter what your socioeconomic status is, but if you are a woman, your time is very, very valuable. And if you are jumping into a marriage and then God forbid it doesn't work out, then you think about the timing of that, right? In certain states, you can't even get a divorce for six months, right? You have to literally wait after the separation, you have to wait six months even before you can be divorced officially. And not to mention all the you know drama and trauma that happens during the divorce, and then you have to get yourself back together to actually start dating again, right? So the length of the time that it would it would take a woman to do something like that, it would be much, much longer than if you were to wait from the engagement part to getting married if you give it some time. Okay. So, and there are ways to do that. So I do talk about it in the course, so you can check it out there. But this is basically what I'm seeing. And again, like there, there is a small percentage of people for whom it does work out. I'm not saying that it doesn't, but we also have to look at what are the, what, are, what is the statistic, right? And I'm being very honest with you that, okay, this, this, these things do happen and you have to keep that in mind. And it's, there are multiple ways how you can structure this. I still believe and teach my students and my clients that you still have to, when you're rotationally dating, obviously you want to get to a point where a guy takes you off the market, right? So when he proposes, you say yes, and you are exclusively dating this person from then point, uh, you engage to this person, right? But rushing from that point to the altar, I believe that it is better to give it some time. And the time could be variable, right? Could be anywhere from four months to six months or more time if you need that. But if you think about your life from like a bigger perspective, that time is going to be much less than, God forbid, if this marriage, if you jump into something and you don't know a person, um, how much time is it going to cost you? So this is something that we just need to start thinking about a little bit more from that perspective and not having these ro rose colored glasses on thinking that and hoping and praying that, you know, these things will, um, will magically somehow fix themselves, especially if you're seeing certain red flags. But even if you don't, as I said, sometimes, in the, in the dating stage, there, you can't see any red flags because the person is hiding them and then things come out. I hope that this was, um, this was useful for you. And if it was, please leave me a comment. Just say if you want me to talk a little bit more about this topic. I do appreciate all your comments and subscribes. It really helps the channel and the videos. So I really appreciate all your support and I will talk to you guys next time. Thank you.